Hey everybody, how's it going? Daryl here, welcome to the channel. Today we have a gig log. We're gonna talk about video DJing, specifically in like virtual DJ. So I have debuted this Humpter B3 TV booth several times, so I'll have links in the description below, just kinda go more about what this TV's all about. So this is not gonna be like a full length gig log, just going through all the parts of the wedding. This is mostly gonna be focused on this TV booth and how to be a video DJ and virtual DJ and some of the tips and tricks that I like. Had to move out of the way for a moment. A family member was wanting to take a picture next to it. I mean, this thing is a hit guys. People love the video booth. So I'm starting the celebration with a static monogram like this. A lot of people ask me, where do I get my static monograms? So there's a website called mydigitalgobo.com and they have wonderful monograms and they can customize it for you. It's pretty affordable. And if you have some Photoshop skills, of course, you can just create your own monograms and customize it for your couples. And if you do like a projector monogram, you can just use the same design and just put it right here. So today's couple chose a photo booth. This is their photo booth design. So all I did was like crop that bottom part and display it on my TV. So easy peasy. So later on in the evening, it's not just going to be the static monogram. During dinner and cocktail, I have a slideshow. So I'm gonna play some slides from the couple. They sent me pictures. Some DJs do awesome things and they even like capture pictures of the ceremony and then they like place it on the TV. And then later on in the evening, I'm gonna have this monogram with some really cool visualizations in the background just to give it kind of more event branding while giving some cool vibes. It's also worth noting that on this computer, I have it connected with an HDMI cable. So my MacBook Pro comes with an HDMI port. I can control the TV back here, so I have it plugged in, and I have an HDMI cable going from the TV up through this hole and to my laptop. So, of course, I have Virtual DJ open right here, and they have several options for video. So you can do, like, album covers, you can do, like, a camera. So if you have, like, a webcam, you can switch to that and, like, show your dance floor. Really cool if you have, like, a wireless setup. They have a shader, which is actually a little bit more dynamic to the music. Like, it changes the animation based on the BPM and the intensity of the music. But I'm just going to do a slideshow. And so you can configure the slideshow settings, like, over here. So you can, like, choose, like, how long each slide will be, whether you enable video. And you can select the folder. So I made a new folder for my couple. And within this folder, I have one called monogram and slideshow. So right now I've selected monogram, which is just one image inside. And I also have slideshow. So when I select the slideshow, and I can also have this nice preview right here and see how it's like going crazy. Let's change the length to, I don't know, seven seconds for each image. And you can choose like the transitions, but it's just gonna be a simple fade. We'll keep it very simple. Let me show you. Just an interesting personalization of the couple that people can enjoy during dinner and cocktail hour. Just as they're passing by, they can see this, and yeah, just a really nice personal touch. When it's time for the first dance, I'm gonna go back to monogram and just show that monogram. And you can see the preview right here so you know what you're displaying. Some people like to have a monitor as part of their DJ booth just so they can see it at all times and not have to navigate to this video tab and virtual DJ, but I'm not going that fancy today. So it's time for the dance party. I have a different folder, virtual DJ videos. So these are just like various videos I've collected over the years. I think I bought like some packs online. I can't remember. If I can't remember, I'll make a different video. But yeah, then I just click this video button and then it's just playing these visualizations. And then what is really cool, so I just used Photoshop and just kind of deleted everything around this center monogram. Because I want this monogram to be the focal point and then just have the visualizations around this. This is just going to be an overlay over those cool video visualizations. And so I guess it'd be different on a Windows machine, but with a MacBook. So this is how you do it on a MacBook. So I have this transparent monogram. So you click it, brings up this app called Preview. And notice that I created this graphic with just this kind of the central focus. Then I'll have like the video on the outside. So this is great thing called an overlay and you do the screen grab then you select what you want so I do preview right here and so that's actually pretty cool but let's want the outside like that so go ahead and bring up preview again make that full screen and then it gets rid of that top bar right there make sure it's transparent and there we go and then there we go this will be part of the dance party so Super exciting. Just give a little bit of ambiance and give it some event branding. Yeah. 
For the benefit of those who I have not met, my name is Blair Whiting, and I am the proud grandfather of Alyssa on her mother's side. I'm going to show what it will look like during the dance party. But we'll go ahead and switch this back before we start cocktail hour. Let's get back to cocktail hour scenes. Let's go ahead and turn off the screen grab. Let's go ahead and select the right folder. We're doing the slideshow for cocktail hour. There we go. I also wanted to mention that all these photos are just photos of the bride and groom supplied to me through like Google Photos. I just added them on my computer and downloaded them locally. So I could have like made them into a movie with some sort of program, but I just chose not to and I'm just relying on the capabilities of Virtual DJ. But you know, I think it works really good for horizontal photos, but these vertical portrait photos, it's not as good. Okay, dinner's about done. We're gonna do our formalities. So let's go ahead and switch it to the monogram so it's not so distracting. There we go. Gig is over, went well, so let's do a synopsis. In true gig log fashion, I'm doing my retrospective the day after. Luckily, it ended a little bit early. So at 9.15, that's when they wanted to do their grand send off. And I'm traveling to Zions National Park, which is in Southern Utah. And so I'm on the middle of a road trip right now. It's like a four and a half hour drive to the venue. So if you're ever in Southern Utah, check out the national parks there. They are incredible. But yeah, I did end a little bit early, so I feel like the lighting wasn't the most effective because it was still pretty light, even when we did our grand send off at 9.15. And also at that venue, like the placement isn't always the best of where they put the DJ in the corner and then they like surround the dance floor with tables. So I don't know, it's not my favorite setup. I actually did a gig log with a video set up like the year before with the Evol 50. So I have to say that the Evox 12 so much better you could feel the thump a lot better and it felt and it was a lot louder so yeah i really enjoyed the evox 12s and i think a lot of feedback i've been getting from my viral video of the humter b3 is that it's just an accident waiting to happen drunk guests are gonna like kick it and you know i've never had a guest drop kick my booth and a lot of times the booth is far away from the dance floor like last night so there was no chance of that but this venue where they put the DJ, it's right next to the supply closet. And one of the venue workers with a dolly full of chairs smashed right into my TV. And, you know, I don't want to be a dick to people, but I was just like, did you just really do that? And the kid obviously looked horrified that he did that. But, you know, there was no damage. I, I guess TVs are more resilient these days. And I told him we were good. And he was super careful after that. And I don't know, he just felt so bad. And I just wanted to reassure him it was okay if there was no damage done. But at the same time, TVs are so cheap. My insurance wouldn't even cover it because of it's a $500 deductible. And the TV's well below that threshold. I thought that the monogram looked nice the visuals with like the monogram placed over it looked really nice the groom did approach me and asked to just switch it to just the slideshow he really liked the slideshow i like the video because it adds vibes but it's not so visually engaging that people are going to be like standing looking at your tv when they should be dancing i think music videos it's kind of a gray area in that regard because people sometimes will be watching the music videos instead of dancing, but it gives it kind of like that club ambiance. But at the end of the day, you know, it's the bride and groom's party. So if they want the slideshow being played during the dancing, why not? You know, it's not, not a big deal to me. It was a great wedding. I think the dancing portion was very short. I wish it was a little bit longer. They were a great crowd. So hopefully this gig log gave you some ideas on how to use virtual DJ and to display videos during your mobile DJ sets. What questions do you have? Let me know down in the comments below. Please smash like and subscribe and wish me luck in Zions National Park. It's gonna be a hot day and I'm outdoors. See you in the next video.